Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss example 2a for the function 3x plus 2. Question asks us to determine whether the following function is 1 to 1 or not. So first method that I'm going to discuss is the algebraic method. So step number 1, I'm going to substitute x sub 1 and x sub 2 into the function. So we will have f x sub 1 is equal to f x sub 2 into the function. And we will see 3x sub 1 plus 2 is equal to 3x sub 2 plus 2. Next, I'm going to rearrange the situation or we can say simplify. So we will have 3x sub 1 is equal to 3x sub 2 plus 2 minus 2. Finally, we have 3x sub 1 is equal to 3x sub 2 on the right. Next, I'm going to simplify by divided the 3 for both sides. And we will have x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2. Since the f x sub 1 is equal to f x sub 2, it implies that x1 is equal to x2. Thus, the function fx is a one-to-one -one function. So now I'm going to discuss the second method, which is the graphical method or the horizontal line test. So now I'm going to sketch or plot the graph. Let's say x is equal to 0 and the value for y will be equal to 2. We need to find another point. Let's say x is equal to 1. The value for y will be equal to 5. So we are going to plot the value. When x is equal to 0, the value will be 2 for y. So here we have the point 2. Let's say if x is equal to 1 and the value will be equal to 5. So we will have 5 over here. So now I'm going to sketch the graph. So it is a function for fx equals to 3x plus 2. So now I'm going to determine whether the function is 1 to 1 or not by using the horizontal line test. So next I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So for example, next we have another horizontal line and followed by another one. So now we have three horizontal lines. So based on the horizontal line, we can see that there is an intersection point between the horizontal line and the function. So every horizontal line intersects the graph exactly once. So this is a one-to-one -one function. So we can see a conclusion. So fx is a one-to-one -one function because the horizontal line intersect the graph at once. So here we are and thanks for watching.